this episode of Out of the Basement, we're doing our first game store. We're here at Retro Replay in Cape Bridge, Ontario, so what do you say we go check it out, eh? Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Jack, you coming? Jack? Yeah, all right. This is absolutely amazing. It's a retro replay Mega Man that Dave right here actually made in the store. And I'm just excited to see this just because I like to see different variants of the characters and it's a red Mega Man. We've got Brady and Skyler here. You guys are actually regular customers of Retro Replay, right? Yeah. yeah. What would you say brings you guys in? Just the prices and just the overall look of this place. I think it's 10 times better than EV games. So much expensive there and you don't get much in cash back value or anything. Yeah, and they also have like older games and stuff there instead of like the newest things. I like Game Boy games and stuff, PS2. And what are some of your favorite games? Uh, I like Mega Man and Pokemon, Final Fantasy, Prototype for the Xbox. There's a really long list actually. <laughs> There's always a long list when it comes to games. There's yeah. always a long list when it comes to games. For both, always another one to get and always yeah. another one yeah. to collect. Yeah. What about you, Ray? Um, Call of Duty gets. Call of Duty? Yeah. All day. <laughs> Shooters all day. Yeah, FPS all day. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, if you could say one thing to someone who's never been to this store before, what would you say to get them down? Sales. The sales are so much better here. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of better the prices. Prices are great. Yeah, friendly stop. The stop here is great too. No, you mean these losers back here? Yeah, they're all right. Yeah, yeah, they're good. <laughs> We're surrounded right now by some of our favorite games, a bunch of the Nintendo 64 ones here. But one of my favorite games was actually Maximum Carnage for the Super Nintendo. Uh, the whole soundtrack was done by Green Jelly, which is amazing. And I just love that this cart was red back in the day. It really brought me in and I had to rent it and then I had to buy it instantly. Yeah. And I think one of my favorite finds today is actually they, they have suit code for PS1. And I remember playing this game a lot. I mean, that's... So like I was saying, uh, Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorite PS1 games um, because, it, you know, reasons. I'm gonna have to buy that, aren't I? Yeah, you might have to buy that. Guys, uh, did you see that they have Sabrina the Teenage Witch on PS1? Wait, are, are you serious? And also, are you supposed to be behind the camera no, right now? Guys, you can play as Salem the Cat. Okay, it's but amazing. Who's shooting us right now? It's fine. It, it does its own thing. What? No, no, no. Because. Oh my God! And Hannah Montana on DS, guys. <laughs> God damn it, Jack. Dave here works in Retro Replay, and again, the shop's been around for a couple of years now. Have you been with them the whole time? No, I only got here about, uh, I'd say... A year now? Yeah. Not very long. Yeah, and it looks like you guys, you and you and Mike are pretty tight, but you know, did you guys know each other before or is it I actually never met Mike before prior to working here. I came into the store and I was talking to him about I, it was a virtual boy that I wanted that they had and uh, I regretted not buying it that day because I went, came the next day and he's like, it's gone, man, you should have bought it. <laughs> I learned that lesson and I show it to all the customers all the time. I tell them the same story. Well, it's a good, it's a good hook, right? You know, you find something rare and you want to make sure you get it. it. Don't, don't wait, wait on it. Don't wait on it. Yeah, for sure. It, you want it, just get it. It's not going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Now, you were saying that uh, before, Mike was telling, this, uh, telling us the story off camera, but you actually hold the world record for one of the songs in, in Guitar Hero, right? A few songs on a Guitar Hero. A few songs? Yeah. 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 What's, uh, can you throw uh, any information? Like, what songs are there? Um, I can tell you my favorite one was uh, Sad But True on Guitar Hero Metallica on Expert. Nice. It's just an example of one of them. We got maybe 
eight of them for just Guitar Hero wow. and a few for some other games as well. And you can find some of those videos on YouTube, right? Absolutely. You can also find it on TweenGalaxies.com. Sweet. Yeah. So if you guys want, we can actually throw those links up in our description as well if you want to check them out if you're a huge Guitar Hero fan. I don't or, know if they're going to do it. You know, put it like up here or somewhere over here. Just click. Or it could be over here or over here or like maybe down here. Yeah. I don't know. We can, we can mess the around with it. will be somewhere. They'll be the somewhere. They'll be everywhere at this point. But yeah. you've also done uh, actually the, the Mega Man that Jeff was kind of staring at here. You actually painted that up and did it yourself, right? Yeah, did uh, painted up the Mega Man and did the whole backer card in Photoshop. Took me a couple hours. That's nuts. Do you have any uh, any plans to do any more retro replay memos at all? Or? That's a secret. That's a secret? It's a secret. Keep it to myself. Yeah. Take it to the grave. <laughs> So uh, I've got some plans no, to do some some new amiibos, but I I like even Mike didn't even know about this one until literally the day was done and just kind of walked in and dropped it on the man. Hey, I got a surprise for you! Oh, it's so cool! <laughs> yeah. So eventually there may be a wall of uh, retro replay amiibos just uh, who knows you know hanging up somewhere, right? Who knows? Only time will tell. Perfect. And the links that you can't click. On. And the links you can't click yet. Yeah, yeah. And Jack, you're gonna edit that, right? Yeah, Jack's Jack nodding. I don't. You can't see him because he's behind the camera. Jack, you're supposed to say something at that point. Sure. Th thank you, Jack. He, he's busy playing Spice Girls on the PS1. He's today. busy playing Spice Girls in the background. Yeah, he's just spicing up his life. Anyway, Dave, thanks so much for taking the time. Whoa, whoa easy now. That was almost magic. Yeah. No So, uh, so Mike here booted up uh, Narc for us because he's awesome and Narc is fantastic and a really backwards message anti-drug game who, you know, if you smoke drugs, people will kill you. That's that's basically what I'm getting out of this. Is that what you're getting out of this? What I'm getting out of Okay, cool. But it looks like there should be the drug use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. We've got Mike here from Retro Replay, and he's got the power. How's it going, man? Doing pretty good. Yourself? Doing all right. So how long have the store been open for you here? Uh, we've been open for about two years now. And how's it been so far? Uh, busy. Every day busy. Every day busy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's great. Everything's going fantastic. Every day we've got customers, new people show up all the time. Regulars, is fantastic. I know you guys are really big in the community and you like to give out to local charities. You run local tournaments and stuff, and I heard you had some monkeys in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, something about that. We uh, give out to charities pretty much every month. Uh, you know, anybody who comes by and needs help with anything, so they got uh, like a charity auction or something like that, we always do our best to give to that. We support the uh, VGCC swap meet, we participate in the CGCC swap meets, uh, we also do the Brantford PC Museum. Um, you know, lots of stuff like that. We try and hold tournaments as much as we can. Uh, so we usually go two or three times a year we do that and we change it up. The last one we did was Smash Bros for the GameCube and uh, we were actually like one person below our fire occupancy limit. So that was pretty crazy. And we had monkeys. Well, not monkeys, we had lemurs. So we had uh, two ringtail lemurs and a different lemur that I don't know what kind it was. And then there was a spider monkey and there was a teacup pig and a marmoset and they just ran wild the whole time the tournament was happening. So that was insane. They just climbed on everybody and they were like crowd surfing in the middle of people playing. It was it was insane, but it was super fun. Like kids loved it. Uh, there was only one person that didn't like it because she got kicked in the head by a monkey. But other than that, everybody had a great time. Where else can you say you got kicked in the head by a monkey though? That's what I say. It's awesome. I mean, that's not an everyday I'd thing. I'd pay five bucks just to get kicked in the head by a monkey. And See? I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be like, that's awesome. I'd be happy about that too. Yeah. And uh, the one thing is obviously being a game owner, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff has to come through the stores, right? Mm -hmm. So what is like one of your main items that maybe came in that you were like, I want this for my personal collection, but I can't, I can't let it go? Like everything. Um, everything. <laughs> and that's, that's true. Like, that's like true. A lot of, I, I, I have a, a complete NES collection, so anything that's NES that's in better condition than what I have, or anything that's NES that's like completely boxed out of the box or manual for it, uh, that's always hard to see it go. No matter if it's like a $10 game or a $1,000 game, it doesn't matter. But, uh, 
I have a pretty big Super Nintendo collection too, where there's some some big guys I'm missing, like Evo and Earthbound. I need those too, but that, they've both come in here and they've both sold. Uh, sealed Zelda, Ocarina of Time Collector's Edition, I would really like that, but that went. Uh, sealed and graded Majora's Mask for N64, that went too. Um, you know, a lot of cool stuff comes in here, like all the time, to the point where people are always like, you know, you, know, you post stuff up on Facebook, but you know, it's always gone. I, Maybe we post half of what we get on Facebook because people still have to come to the store because if we post it up the night before, we'll have a lineup every day in front of the store. And uh, sometimes we post some crazy stuff. Like last time we posted up like uh, like 100 Super Nintendo games, we had like 35 people in front of the store waiting to come in here to buy games. And they've been there for like two hours. So it happens, but we've got to keep it fair for everybody. So it's first come, first serve. And customers always come first. Like if I really want a game, I will go buy it from another store that I like or something like that. Or, you know, resort to evil old eBay for something weird that I haven't seen in a while. But, uh, you know, I, I try not to take from the store. There's a very, very short, short, short list of about two or three games that if they came in here, I'd take home. But the chance of them even coming in here is about zero. And what is that one? What is that uh, one? Any world take? championship cards? Those were going with me. Uh, boxing game for stadium events, and that showed up, which never gonna happen. Um, you know, that would probably be it. The other awesome thing, actually, was Mike was nice enough to give us a Bioshock standee that we're actually gonna be giving away to you guys sometime after this video is launched, and we'll set up another video to kind of give you the lowdown on that. And uh, thank you so much, no Mike, problem, for uh, letting us come here in your store today. So. Awesome. Thanks for coming by, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah. That's the end of our retro replay shoot today. As you can see, I couldn't help myself and I had to buy a Genesis with Power Rangers. And also, Brad can't stop touching this Bioshock 2 standee, which we'll be giving away to you guys later. Yeah, so if you follow all of our social feeds, you know, our Facebook, our Instagram, our Twitter, make sure to keep tuned because we're going to be giving some information as to how you can win this. Thanks again to Retro Replay for having us in and giving this up for, uh, for the giveaway. So thanks again and we'll see you guys around. Let's go take this thing home, huh? There you are. How the fuck do I carry this thing? Welcome to Retro Replay. Thank you. We leave now? Yeah. yeah.